Hey guys, Crewman here. And did you guys just get a KS0 Ultra? Well, if you just picked one up, let me show you how to go ahead and install this thing and get it hashing as fast and as safely as you can. This video is sponsored by Crypto Miner Bros, your one stop shop for home ASIC mining needs. They have any home ASIC miner you're looking at, from the ETC ASICs, which are my personal favorites, to the latest Alethium ASICs, the AL1 to the KS0 Ultra, which we are talking about right here. Use code CRUPMAN for $70 off your order. And remember, prices from Crypto Miner Bros are shipped to your door. They have free shipping and there's no hidden fees or hidden prices. What you see right here is what you're gonna pay. So thanks again to Crypto Miner Bros for sponsoring this video. So the first way you can set up your Ice River KS0 Ultra is you can use the power brick. And if you use the power brick, uh, I would recommend putting it on its side uh, because these things tend to get hot and make sure that the fan, whatever fan is blowing on your ice river is blowing on your, um, your power brick as well, depending on your spot. Now, if you have no fans blowing on it, I would still recommend putting it on its side and you obviously, you just plug it right back into the barrel plug. It just goes in like that. Push it in and it's in. When it can't go in anymore, it is considered in. You can do this, this is the first way, or the second way is, if you don't wanna use the power supply supplied to you by Crypto Miner Bros, you can use a barrel plug from the Veteran Miner. I'll put a link down below for that. And uh, this one, you can basically plug it into a server power supply, and it just gets plugged into the back like so. Now if you're gonna, now this is assuming you are not overclocking, you want to follow another setup guide if you plan on overclocking your KS0 Ultra, which I currently do not recommend. Now, you can obviously, if you can put a fan on it, depending on your setup, you saw in the garage, I didn't have a fan on those ones, but in here it gets a little hot and I needed to hit the target temperature of about 70 C and to do that, I need to put a fan on it. So I have a fan on it and it's powered by a fan hub. You do not want to power the fan by the USB on the ice surface. You want to put power it separately. I am using a fan controller that is plugged in to uh, a Molex and then do a six pin and it does the job just fine. So that's basically how to set up your Ice River KS0 uh, as far as the hardware, KS0 Ultra, as far as the hardware side, there's not much to it. Now let me show you what you gotta do when you get into the software. So if you do need additional help, here are the official guides from Ice River. I will link them down below. Now the first thing you need to do is you need to log into your miner, you need to find the IP and the username is admin and the password is 1234567. So once you log in, you will see the following. The first thing you will see is you will see this Ice River screen on your left. And the first thing you need to do is you need to click user settings to change your password. It'll look exactly like this. And the current password is 1234567 and then obviously you have to change your password to whatever you would like your password to be. The next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to go to mining settings, again on the left hand corner, and you're gonna to wanna to type in on the left, on the pool address, you gotta type in your pool. That is for caspapool.org, which is the Casper pool that I'm currently mining to. And then on the right, you wanna put your work, your wallet, which is your Casper wallet, whatever you choose to mine to, dot worker there, so that you'll see your worker. And you just see it's, you type it right in where you put your info here. It's wallet dot worker. And then you go down and you hit restart miner and you should be good to go. Your miner, your home dashboard will look like this. Uh, you wanna notice I have the temperatures circled. You're gonna wanna make sure your temperatures are floating between 50 to 70 degrees, preferably as close to 70 as you can so you can get the proper hash rate. You can see my miner's been running eight days uninterrupted once in a while it does crash, but you know that is, well, that will happen. And you will notice that only the top uh, on the pool, it'll be one, two, and three. Only the top one will be connected. The other two are just backups. I just leave them all the same. Uh, you can train stratums. You can use Euro Europe or, or like a different world stratum just in case one goes down. Um, I haven't seen that happen often, but you can do that as well. And other than that, it looks good. I don't see any issues. And your Ice River KS Zero Ultra or any other model that they may release in the future is good to go and ready to mine. So thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe for more ASIC mining tips. And thank you again to the sponsor of this video, Crypto Miner Bros, where you can buy the KS0 Ultra and you can use code CRUPMAN for $70 off. So thanks again. Please like and subscribe. CRUPMAN is...